my randoms out there, it is your girl Amanda. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I found so many new items again this week and I want to go through all of these and share with you. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I do try to post a couple times each week and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like what we're doing. Um, and with that being said, let's jump into this because you guys, I found so many cute new things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Seriously, the Dollar Tree this week had some awesome new products. Check out these gummy bears. This is so cute. This is a pencil case from Stacy Pearson. And uh, you guys, this is amazing. You can see it's um, manufactured by Greenbrier International. And it is this cute little 3D looking gummy bear thing. And if you move it, can you see that they move? Um, now, it's a pencil case. This pops open and check this out. Bam, there you go. So these are not very like really heavy duty, but they're super cute. You can keep all kinds of things in here. You can keep your pens and pencils for school. You can keep this sitting on your desk with different um, things in it. You can put stickers in here. You can keep whatever you want in here. So here is this really super cute gummy bear one. And then I also found this one with all of the different um, cupcakes on it. And that's what the side looks like. You guys, they're so cute. Can you see them? Ah. Oh. Okay, so this one is yellow and the inside is also yellow. So that is super cute. And the other one has got to be my favorite check it out. It's got the blue, the purple, and it is a unicorn sleeping awake, sleeping awake. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. And then check these little, oh, so cute. It's magic. Do you see that? Boom. Now you do. Magic, magic. I hope this is like showing up on camera, but the back does it as well. And you guys, this one is just so cute. I'm in love with this one. Love, 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 love it. So, um, I did pick up the three that my Dollar Tree had. And um, I do want to throw this out there. If you guys are watching this right now, um, we're going to have a little hidden giveaway. And if you want either the cupcake or the gummy bears. I want you guys to like this video and then leave a comment below that says cupcakes or gummy bears. And you can add whatever you want into your comment. Just make sure that, you know, you can say, oh, I love your video. I love your haul. Cupcakes. Or, I, you know, great finds, gummy bear. Don't put down um, in the comments that there is a giveaway. Because, like I said, it's kind of a secret giveaway. And at the end of your comment, or if you just want to leave one word, cupcakes, I'll know that that was the one that you chose. Because one of these is then going to be given out. And I will ship you guys, whoever the winner will be, um, one of... Whatever one you chose if your comment was picked. So, like I said, like this video and leave the comment stating which one you want. And I'll know then that way how to pick a winner. So, there we go. There's a quick little giveaway. And, you guys, speaking of giveaway, I... I have an entire box full of Dollar Tree products and different things that I have been saving up to do a huge giveaway, and I was supposed to do it when I hit 5000 and 6000 hit so fast that I'm going to hurry up and start doing like miniature giveaways out of all of the things that I collected, and instead of giving one huge giveaway you know, to one person, I'm going to try to get a bunch of different people some stuff. So that will be coming too, so keep... Keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, all right, you guys. The books at the Dollar Tree were completely off the hook, you guys. Oh, MG much. So, 
I ended up finding this book, and this is How to Train Your Dragon, A Journal for Heroes, and I just thought this was so cute. Keep Out. It is by Cressida Cowell. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but the list price was originally $10.99. Is that what that says? Yes. A dollar at the Dollar Tree. And check these little doodles out, you guys. So this book is actually a journal, and please forgive my ratchety nails um jazzy painted them for me and it has been like forever and i've just been peeling at them so anyway how to train your dragon a journal for heroes and if you flip through it you guys it is so cool i was not natural at the heroism business i had to work at it this is the story of becoming a hero the hard way check these out so it does give you like it's like someone's drawing or journal and they doodle in it. It gives you little things to read. Um, it gives you jokes, some fiery dragon jokes. What do you call, what do you get when a sniffer dragon sneezes? You get out of the way. Move. Get out the way. So there are all kinds of things in here and there is room for you over here, obviously, to write your own journal or write your own thoughts. Big booby Bertha. These bosoms have killed before, and they will kill again. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, you guys, seriously, how cute is this book? Um, so I did pick this up. I don't know if Avery would use this. Um, I think both of my boys are a little too old for it. But I had to have it because it is seriously just way too cute. And then, you guys, I'm going to put a picture up here because I didn't end up picking all of them up. But I found Ever After High books. And the Monster um, Monster High books. There were so many of them, and I ended up getting Jazzy three of them. But like I said, I'll put that picture in somewhere um, of the all the other ones that we found. So this one right here was a Ever After High General Villainy, a Destiny Do-Over Diary, Companion to Next Top Villain. So, you guys, what... It's kind of in regards to this book as well, because when you open it up, um, there's there's different things you can write about. Um, there's prompts for, like, journal prompts. There's um, just different things. Um, it gives you a little thing you can read and then journal about what your feelings are, about what you read about it. There's even little games, I know, like over here. Um, the sound, it, it just... All of this stuff that you can do. And it's just a really cute book. And it's a book that I know Jasmine will appreciate probably next year or the year after when she's a little bit older and more into these things. Like, she does journaling and all of that now. But these are amazing books to put away, you guys. Like, originally, these are expensive books. And I don't see it on here because the sticker's covering it. But... So I did get that one, and now this one is a school story, Kiss and Spell. This is also Ever After High. was originally nine thirty six, and you guys, these books are, they're just, they're written well, they're cute. Like, look at the, do you see the little Ever After High image in, on the side of the book here? I just love this. I wish there were books like this when I was a kid. So I did pick this one up for her as well. And these will just all go on her um, computer desk so that when she is older or when she wants to read these, she's currently reading Captain Underpants books right now. And they're actually big chapter books too. And she's like getting so into reading and taking off after her mama. So I'm really happy about that. So this book, you guys, is, you can see there's a poster in here, there's pictures. This might be one that she probably reads fairly soon. And this one is Monster High, The Great Scarier Reef, the deluxe junior novel with fantastic full-colored images and a poster inside, and it's based on the movie. Like, look at these bright, awesome colors, you guys. Like, these books just make me want to read them. So... I scored big time on the books. I'm so, 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 so happy. Like, you guys, there were so many more that I could have picked up, too. But, you know, time restraints. 
money issues, all that good stuff. So the next thing I did find, you guys, was this Dove Intensive Cream. Now, I know that a bunch of you guys have already been hauling this, and there is a pink one as well. Um, I picked this one up because I love the little container that it's in, and I want to be able to throw this in my purse. If you guys are new to my channel, I am a type 1 diabetic, so the, you know, I constantly have dry, itchy skin, and I thought this Dove Intensive Cream would really, really, really help with that, so it'll be good to carry around in my purse with me. All right, I also love to pick these up when I see them at the Dollar Tree, you guys. These are Sunbeam Super Heavy Duty Double A batteries. You normally get eight. When I see them for ten, I when you get ten of them instead of eight as far as quantity goes, I do pick these up just to have because, you know, they're not great batteries, but if you're going to use one like in a remote for your TV or things like that that you're not constantly using, they do hold up and they work pretty well. So whenever I find the 10 packs, I usually try to pick these up because why not get 10 instead of 8? Okay, we found these fruit scented gel ink pens from Ink, and it is grape, blueberry, and strawberry scented, or scented ink with a comfort grip. So they are the colors. You do get pink, blue, and purple in these pens, and they are gel pens, and I really like the ink brand, so I'm thinking that these should probably work pretty well, um, I'm assuming Jasmine will probably steal these from me because my daughter will want these for her journal, but if not, Mama will keep them for all of hers. So I am obsessed with all things planner. I don't care if they're big. I don't care if they're spiraled. I don't care if they're small. I don't care what they look like. I'm usually obsessed and cannot get enough. So when I saw this one and it kind of has that like granite colored like marbled color to it and it is by jot it is the 2019 planner with the weekly page format which looks like this i thought how super cute would this be to keep track of hours and different things like that when i'm not in my big planner um and i love having one of these to throw in my purse so that is what i picked it up for you can see it gives you all of these cute little weekly spreads, which you want to, you know, you can still jazz this up right here with planner stickers and all kinds of things. You could paint these pages. You could make this little cute planner completely your own. So I picked that up. And for my husband, believe it or not, he is so super picky when it comes to like shoes and socks and things like that. I bought him a pair of these on the whim because he really needed a pair, and um, I can't remember what we were doing, and I just picked him up so he had an extra pair, and he threw these on, and these are in the size 6 to 12 for men's, and these are athletic low-cut socks. You do get three pair in here, you guys, and he loved them. Like, he was like, oh my god, can you get me some more of those socks? So... I can't personally vouch for these socks, but my husband, he is rough on his feet and on his socks, and he really likes them. So I picked up one of those, and then I also picked up this one, which is in a size 8 to 13 men's low-cut socks. And there are three in here as well, and I'm pretty sure they're like, they're the... They look identical. They both have this rippling here in the middle. So I'm pretty sure even though these say athletic... I'm pretty sure they're the same things with just different maybe sizes and packaging. But when you need some socks, um, I would say grab those if you see them because for a dollar a piece and you get three pairs, that is a pretty good deal. All right, guys. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? And can you believe it even came from the Dollar Tree? All right gorgeous. It says Dream Big Little Mermaid, and this is from Greenbrier International, and check the glitter and the scales and the mermaidness. Oh, it's just so beautiful. All right, so it is a folder. You open it up. It is just white inside. There are no holes so that it could be added into a binder. However, if you have a hole punch, you could definitely punch holes in that. Um, in this yourself, 
So don't let the fact that it does not come with holes be a deal breaker for you because obviously you can just punch your own if you're dead set on having this in a binder. I'm dead set on just this whole front cover. Um, so I can't even tell you if I'll leave it as this. I might have a DIY for this, so we'll see. But they had so many other ones, you guys, and did I not get that one? Woo! Where did it go? I think my daughter stole it. Well, I do have a picture, and I'll put it in up over here in the corner of some of the other ones that they had that were like this, and you guys, they were so super cute. I'm so stoked for these. These are just adorable, so definitely look for these, and the funny thing is I did not find them over by all of the school stuff. I found them actually on like a little cart or a little rack that was right up by the checkout counters on the very bottom. So definitely make sure you're always checking those areas of your Dollar Tree as well. Oh yes, let's go there. Let's go there with the Angel Soft. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is two-ply. It's 130 sheets per regular roll, and you get four rolls. You know what? When I see this, I buy it. It's a buck. You get four rolls, and I put these little ones away, and I hide them in cupboards and underneath our sink. So if we ever do run out, we are fully stocked with plenty of these little ones to get us through until we can go and buy us some more butt wipe. <laughs> so um, my husband and my kids all seem to really love the Angel Soft brand, so whenever they do have this in the Angel Soft, I like to stock up, so I did get six of these. However, I don't feel the need to show you all six packs of my butt wipe. Okay, guys, so my friend um, is in love with Justice League. She's mainly in love with this girl right here, and I know if you guys have watched my previous videos, you've seen that I have hauled some Wonder Woman bags and a pen and a notebook and some stationery and things like that. So this is for my friend, and I picked it up because these are just way too cute, and they are kind of puffy. Um, the puffy stickers, If I don't know if you can see that, that they do puff up and stick out a little. So I did pick these up as well. And there is only seven in here, but still, they're really cool. And I know that she can use them or put them on something. And she'll love them. Right. Wonder Woman. Okay, so these were a huge deal before. These were the reversible sequin bins. So this is not a new item. However, I have not seen them since the first time they put them out. And they had a whole nother stock of these again, you guys. If you can see, this is what they look like. They have this really cute, like, teal turquoise -y color. And then it also, when you flip the sequins, it goes to this really pretty pink. And they have some right up here. And I wanted some more of them, um, so I did pick that one up, and I believe it is that size, where it's the longer size, sorry that it's cockeyed, and that is the smaller sized one. So I did pick this one up, and this is 7 by 9 by 7 So I love these, you guys. These are so cute, and I still cannot believe you can get these for a dollar. All right, so I found these. I don't know if they are new or if I've just never seen them before, but this is five blade razors, and this is from the Assured X brand. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty cool looking with the black and the green. Um, it says there's five stainless steel blades with a lubricating strip and a rubber handle for men. Well, guess what, honey? Mama's going to use these too, or I'm going to at least try. Look how cool these things look. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever used these before. If you have, I don't know. Let me know if they worked for you or not. But yeah, so I'm really, really, really excited to try and try to try and try these and uh, see if I like them. And I'm sure my husband will use them as well. Well, he'll like use his own like we don't share razors. Is that weird? Do people do that? They probably do that. I don't know if I've ever used his razor before, though. I don't know. Um, the other new item that I found, you guys, were these. These are from Vanilla from Dakota. It says it is a vanilla iced latte made with fresh brewed coffee. Now, okay, you guys. 
I know this is like sacrilegious and all, but your girl does not like coffee. I have never liked coffee unless you give me coffee that is this much coffee to this much French vanilla creamer ratio. Then I'll drink it. But I just, I don't know. But, however, my sister-in-law is home from Texas, and she took me to Starbucks for the first time, and I got this iced caramel, what was it? Iced caramel latte, maybe? Or iced caramel mocha latte with extra caramel? I can't remember. But I actually went there, I actually tried it, and I actually liked it. So... When I saw these, I decided I'm going to pick them up and just see. Now, these are in a glass jar, and I'll put a picture in actually over here because I took a picture of all of the different kinds because I wasn't going to pick them all up, but I did get this vanilla iced latte, and the other one I ended up picking up was... Also from this Dakota brand, and it is the Caramel Iced Latte, um, made with fresh brewed coffee. So, if I don't like them, my husband probably will. Um, he's not really a big iced coffee drinker. He's kind of more of the manly man, just give me my black coffee and let me be. Um, but I figure they're new and I would definitely want to throw them in the fridge and give them a go. And you guys know that my family love the Takis Fuego. These are hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips and they're rolled up. These are amazing, you guys. I have a really bad cold right now and sinus infection and let me tell you. Eat a couple of those, and those will clear your sinuses right up. <laughs> um, the last thing that I found was the six-pack of these multi-purpose clips. And you guys, these are pretty big clips, and I love these specific clips because when I'm working in my um, junk journal or in one of my art journals or things like that, I love clipping the sides down so that I can paint or just have them laid flat. So if I'm, you know, doing different techniques or mixed media things that I have them laying flat. And these work great for that. And they'd look really cute on some bags of, you know, chips and, and whatnot. Whatever. See? Multi-purpose. They're multi-purposeful. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm pretty... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope, I lied. That was not the last thing. I did pick up the um, chow mein. This is the teriyaki beef flavor. My husband loves these, so I did pick up a couple of those. And I see that there's only two left in this bag because I had, like, two bags full of these. Um, and this one is the chow mein chicken flavor. So... Uh, yeah, apparently they liked them, and uh, they ate all of the rest of them already, so not a big surprise. All right, you guys, with that being said, I hope you all stay random. Don't forget about this little giveaway. I will come back, and I will probably give this video, like, a week before I go, and I, I run it through, like, the comment checker. And I'll probably do it on video so that you guys can see who the winner is. And I know it's nothing huge. I know it's nothing big. I just thought it was super cute. So comment if you want the gummery bears or if you want the cupcakes. And please try to only leave one comment because that'll help um, when I put the video through the comment thing to pick the winner. And that'll be coming up in about a week or so. And then I will start doing some more giveaways of all of my goodies as soon as I can, I promise. All right, you guys, I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. And as always, stay random, my loves. Mwah.